very good morning selection of uh, gate drive for the uh, given application how do you select suitable gate drive for the given application so we have different factors out of all these factors we have uh, uh, more, most important uh, five factors here first one is the relative position of input and output shafts so the first parameter you need to consider in the selection of uh, gates the type of uh, gate is the relative position of input and output shafts or the relative orientation right whether the two shafts are parallel whether the two shafts are intersecting whether the two shafts are non parallel non intersecting so based on this we can select a suitable type of uh, gate drive to transmit the power from driving end to driven end and the second one is amount of speed reduction required or amount of the velocity ratio or the speed ratio required right so if it is high speed ratio or higher velocity ratios we will go for one type of gate drive if you want the low speed reduction ratio but with the higher precision and accuracy then you can go for one variety of gates so based on the speed reduction required and the velocity ratio required you can select a suitable type of gate drive for the given application then the third important parameter in the selection of gate drive to be considered is the efficiency of the drive right do you want a high efficiency gate drive or a low efficiency drive for the given application so that's also you need to consider here then what is the input speed what is the driving speed of uh, the shaft uh, driving shaft from where the power is transmitted to the output end right so that is another one then power to be transmitted whether it is a high power transmission application or the medium uh, drive or low power transmission drive that means the type of a power transmission drive or uh, the magnitude of the power to be transmitted from driving shaft to driven shaft that also has to be selected while selecting the type of gate for the uh, given application and uh, lastly the most important one here is the economical point of view you need to consider the cost of the drive or uh, the cost we can incur or the cost you can expend uh, to uh, consider the gate drive into your application that is also another important parameter here while selecting the uh, type of uh, drive type of uh, gate drive for the power transmission right then the speed ratios or uh, the velocity ratios uh, uh, given by different types of uh, gate drives right if you consider single stage for gate or uh, single stage uh, helical gate drives the maximum speed reduction ratio up to 6 is to 1 you can uh, get right and if you consider two stage spur or helical gate drives uh, the maximum speed reduction you can get up to 35 is to 1 right so that means the speed of the driving speed of the driving shaft divided by speed of the driven shaft is said to be a speed ratio speed ratio is nothing but speed of the driving shaft divided by speed of the driven shaft okay so driving shaft rotates at 35 rpm driven shaft rotates at 1 rpm then the speed ratio is said to be 35 by 1 or 35 is to 1 so that's how the speed reduction ratio or the speed ratio can be specified right so the left side figure indicates the speed of the driving member right side figure indicates the speed of the driven member okay then <clears throat> if you consider three stages in spur gates or the helical gate drives you can get maximum of 200 is to 1 speed reduction ratio right you can reduce the speed by 200 times right so this is uh, these uh, three gate drives are for the parallel shafts uh, the shafts are oriented in parallel 
directions then obviously you can transmit the power by using spur gear or electrical gear right so maximum you can trans you can get the speed reduction ratio up to 200 is to 1 from 6 is to 1 by increasing the number of stages in the drives okay then the next one bevel gear drive which is generally recommended for two intersecting shafts right where you can get maximum speed reduction ratio of 6 is to 1 okay then if you go for warm gearing which is another again uh, generally recommended for non parallel non intersecting shafts but when the shafts are perpendicular right but the two shafts are not coplanar and the two shafts are not coplanar but uh, seems to be perpendicular when you look at from the side view then the warm gearing is used to transmit the uh, power single stage warm gearing gives 70 is to 1 maximum speed reduction ratio but when you consider two stages you will get maximum up to 4900 is to 1 right so it is uh, uh, the greatest reduction in the speed ratio possible uh, by uh, greatest of all gate drives so that is uh, two stage warm gate drives mm -hmm.